In this video, we will demonstrate how to install, align, and test Rosemount Open Path Toxic and Combustible Gas Detectors to ensure proper function and optimize site safety. The information in this video is also included in your Quick Start Guide. The Rosemount Open Path Gas Detection System provides continuous monitoring for combustible hydrocarbon and toxic gases. Open path gas detection is ideally suited for applications requiring a single detector to cover a large area of potential leak sources. The open path gas detectors can be installed by a single person. The commissioning kit provided with the Rosemount open path gas detectors contains all the necessary equipment needed to perform the installation. The kit includes an alignment periscope, also known as an alignment scope, to facilitate source and receiver alignment a magnetic mode selector for selecting receiver operating mode, one or two functional check filters utilized for both installation and periodic functional testing depending on your product, two hex keys, one for connecting the unit to the tilt mount and the other for tightening the alignment screws, and RS-485 communication kits for connecting the Modbus software which can be downloaded from our website to provide easier installation and maintenance, we offer a handheld heart diagnostic kit, which contains the heart handheld communicator, a heart communicator harness for quick plug connection, and a charger with adapters. The installation process consists of four easy steps, positioning, alignment, verification, and validation. First, Verify that you're using the correct source type and have a clear line of sight between the source and receiver. Different source models support a wide variety of coverage ranges. Measure the distance between the source and receiver installation points and verify that it fits the range of the source model you have. Next, make sure the unit mounting structure chosen for connecting the open path gas detection system is stable. Place the receiver on the tilt mount and verify the two pins are in place. Then, tighten the screw with the hex key. Follow the same steps for the source. When done, make sure the units are secure and not vibrating or loose. The next step is to perform an alignment of both the source and the receiver. The alignment process consists of three stages, crude alignment, fine alignment, and zero calibration. An alignment scope will be used to perform alignment of the source and receiver. The first step of the alignment process is to remove the front shield by unfastening the two captive screws. Make sure the receiver and alignment scope contact surfaces are clean. Align the two pins on the front of the receiver with the holes on the alignment scope and place the alignment scope on the front of the receiver. Then. Fasten the alignment scope with the fastening screws, starting with the upper screw, followed by the two side screws. Loosen the two horizontal alignment screws and the two vertical alignment screws to get free range of movement. Then roughly align the receiver toward the source. Now, tighten the horizontal crude alignment screw and the vertical crude alignment screw. To achieve fine alignment, we'll start with the vertical fine alignment screws. Turn the two fine alignment screws simultaneously in opposite directions to align the crosshairs with the center of the source. Then tighten the fine alignment vertical screw. Follow the same steps with the horizontal fine alignment screws. Turn the two fine alignment screws simultaneously in opposite directions to align the crosshairs with the center of the source. Then, tighten the fine alignment horizontal screw. Remove the alignment scope. Reinstall the front shield and tighten the two screws. Follow the exact same steps for the source as well. The third stage of the alignment is zero calibration. Zero calibration must be done whenever there is a new installation, a change in installation, optical alignment, or after window cleaning. Before zero calibration, 
make sure that the path is clear between the receiver and source, weather conditions are clear, and that there is no gas present in the path. To perform a zero calibration, swipe the magnetic mode selector three times on the receiver side until the LED turns solid yellow. The system has now begun the zero calibration process. The zero to 20 milliamps output should now be at one milliamp. Wait one minute until the LED returns to blinking green. The system is now back to normal operation. The zero to 20 milliamps output should now be at four milliamps. For easier installation and maintenance, you can also use a heart handheld communicator unit to perform zero calibration. Begin by connecting the heart handheld communicator unit to the intrinsically safe connector located on the side of the receiver. After communication is established, go to the maintenance screen and press the calibration button three times and wait until the receiver returns to normal working mode. Now, let's move to the verification stage. On the heart maintenance screen, you should verify that the signals are within the specific range for the signal values table as listed in the manual. We recommend you record these values to compare at your next periodic maintenance check. The last step is to validate the system functionality by using the functional check filters and the heart handheld communicator unit. First, position the functional check filter in front of the receiver. The filter must be centered over the receiver's viewing window. Then, wait for 20 seconds and read the LEL value on the heart maintenance screen and verify that a blinking red warning status appears on the back of the receiver. Repeat this step with the alarm functional check filter and verify that a solid red alarm status appears on the back of the receiver. The gas detectors do not require calibration and need minimal maintenance during their long lifetime. Maintenance includes window cleaning and functional testing using a test filter. You should now be able to accurately install and calibrate your open path gas detection system. For additional information, please visit our website at emerson.com slash open path detectors.